excited. I'm excited. Gonna play some Space Engineers. I'm K. We left off. Well, the lights are working, but unfortunately, I think the. I think that's a little, a little off. Let's see if we can fix that real quick. I wanted it to go fast, but... I think all that is still kind of slow. Let's see with the rotation. Being as slow as it is. I think that looks pretty good. I actually originally thought that the uh, blue lights would be going in the opposite direction, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not adjusting that one. I think this will work out just nice. All right. Well, let's go ahead and build a little tiny little miner. Keep out here just so to make it easier for us to get platinum as well as uh, iron. Not going to be anything fancy. Two drills, medium card container. That's about it. Probably would make sense to have a stone ejection system. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start building this up, and I'll bring you back when I get a chance. And we're back. I've gone through a couple designs for drill ships. I haven't really found one that I like. I was going to make a very simple two drill design just to uh, go around. But being that the asteroids are kind of away and it's... It's not easy to get up here. You know, it's not like it only takes two minutes or a minute to get up here. Um, I've decided to go ahead and make a large drill ship. Um, still a small ship, just a fairly large drill ship. That way, uh, when I decide to mine, I don't have to 
make several trips just to get enough ore. I did go ahead and throw on some iron thrusters onto this. So our grasshopper is not able to maneuver in space without using the hydrogen. Gone through all the ice, even the little bit of ice that we had on there. And uh, our hydrogen tanks are not that, uh, not that full. I'm pretty sure that we could be able to make it back on, uh, back on the planet. I've transferred everything in here and we're only at 161,000. So we probably won't even need any hydrogen to get back. Once again, I'll probably go and mine some ice for the journey back. So, I'm going to keep fiddling around on a nice little design that I like. And I'll bring you back in when I get a chance. And we're back. The miner is almost completely finished. I had to take some steel plates from, uh, from that, but I'd rather have this completely ready to go. radio components and a couple thruster components for this is all we need and everything I'm doing now is just cosmetic well actually that's not true one thing I've learned is if I use ramps or not ramps but the angle blocks at, or the the regular you know normal blocks it uh, doesn't matter if it's steel plate, or doesn't matter if it's light armor or heavy armor. They all seem to be destroyed pretty easily if you run into a uh, asteroid. For some reason, I can bang the hell out of the rounded armor blocks, and they don't break very easily. I don't know if that's a glitch. I don't know if it's an exploit, but I like it. So generally, when it comes to my long-term miners, I try to use these on all the corners. Now as well, this corner covers the thrusters. And these corners have drills. I don't think we need to worry about these corners, but definitely the back end. There may be a, another cosmetics block here or cosmetic block there, but I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. Like I said, I've tried I've tried using this design before. Oh no, I don't want to do that. And it has worked out. But since I'm not using a blueprint, I have no idea. If I missed this up. For the life of me, I couldn't remember where I put the gyroscopes in the last ones. So after... Uh, after destroying like three of them, I finally decided to put them onto the merge block because I couldn't remember any place else. Alright, well I think we're ready to go. I think we're going to need to program our sorter blocks so they start ejecting the uh, the stone. That's one thing we do not need. Fill some stuff in here. Let's empty our inventory. Grab some hydrogen. Oh, that's what I want. Let's paint this. Most people paint yellow. I think I'm going to go bright red. Let's do fire engine red. You know, because why not? Oh, 
Oh, that's not everything. Everything. That looks like everything. that lag spike oh, apparently I missed a uh, an armor block there All right, let's fly over to the asteroid and start doing some mining. All right, I just programmed all of the groups. Programmed the stone collectors. Let's get some iron. Oh, okay, back up. Something's wrong. Light list. Oh, there it is. Check your filter. All right, let's try this again. Like there's some ice over here, so let's just drill a straight hole. Pick up a little bit of everything. We're really going to have to uh, be careful on the flight back. 
our weight's getting up there already and I haven't even reached the ice. Oh, that's it. Excellent. Looks like our drills are actually filling up. Let's go ahead and back on out. Hot lights are bright. I need more uranium, too. You can pick up some uranium. That'd be worth it. Oh, we got plenty of room. couple that are in the sixes other than that everything should be good all right it seems to be working out now this is definitely going to put our uh Our grasshopper, this is definitely going to put our grasshopper close to its limit. If not at its limit. I'm actually quite concerned. It's going to make for a spectacular crater. Alright. Let's uh, empty this into the grasshopper and head back to the planet. Bring you back in the descent. And we are back. We have just passed the 9,000 mark. Well, now I'm past the 9,000 mark. Our power is going up, so the atmospheric thrusters are starting to kick in, but our speed is not dropping. Which it probably shouldn't. Being that our weight. Around 5,000, I want to turn the hydrogen thrusters on and hope for the best. Alright, let's go ahead and do that now. It's slowing us down pretty good.
still have my ion thrusters on. <laughs> the tiniest bit may help. So let's see what we have here. Well, as fast as we're stopping, maybe 500,000 kilograms is not the cutoff that I thought it was. Should normally have a little lag spike as we get close to the ground close to our base I'm preparing myself for that and there it was tiny one Kind of overshot it. Do you think I should make that height the same as the other one where it's five? Ah, that I can't. Not broadcasting? And we're here. All right. I'm going to empty all this out and I'll bring you back then. So I'm heading back to the warp ship. And as you can see, we're definitely climbing. Still have that graphical glitch with the autopilot. As you can see, the autopilot is enabled. But I did find a glitch. I have no ice on my ship. I'm using hydrogen. 
I have to be using hydrogen because I've been extending. And yet my hydrogen tanks are not going down. So for some reason, it is... If I turn off... Oh! Is now my hydrogen tank's going? Now my hydrogen tank's going down. There's no way that... There's no way that those ion thrusters, those little tiny ion thrusters are actually doing that much thrust. I must be getting the thrust from the hydrogen thrusters without actually having them enabled. And that's basically... having everything... Yeah, turning them on first. Turning the hydrogen thrusters on first, then ion thrusters. Use the ion thruster, or use the hydrogen thrusters, but not the ion thrusters. And if I turn on the ion thrusters second, no, if I turn on the ion thrusters first, it gives me the output for the hydrogen thrusters, but uses the ion thrust. I may not be describing that 100% accurate. But the fact is, there is definitely a glitch there. And I don't know what is going on now. It actually looks like it's parking the ship. Very uniquely, but it's parking the ship. Autopilot, as bugged as it is, Seems to be also working. I'm going to test the hydrogen glitch again. I'm going to fill up the tanks 100%, turn on the hydrogen thrusters, and from ground, I'm going to turn on from ground, I'm going to turn on the, uh, the autopilot and see what actually uh, how much hydrogen we actually use. And I believe we're not gonna use any. If this glitch is what I think it is, then I believe we might actually not use any. But on board, I do have tons of steel plates. So that should fix all of this. Not that we need a lot of steel plates. I may think about redesigning this front end, but probably not. But we have a completely, completely working warp ship that's going to take both our drill ship and our grasshopper to wherever we want. So the question really comes down to where are we going to go? Well, I'm going to go ahead and repair all this. I wanted to bring you all back to show you that glitch. But I think this is where I'm going to leave off. And until next time, have fun.